kalagarvan we need to find out number of the images due to an object when the object is placed in between two inclined plane mirrors so what's the meaning of that let us try to understand this is one plane mirror this is one more plane mirror these two plane mirrors are inclined at an angle say theta and we are keeping the object somewhere here so this object acts like a object for mirror 1 as well as mirror 2 and because of this object how many images are formed is our question now there are three different possibilities with this what is the three different possibilities is if theta is the angle between two plane mirrors case 1 if 360 by theta where theta is the angle between the two mirrors is an even number so you have got an answer that is equal to x where that x is like a even number then number of the images formed is x minus 1 that is that even number minus 1 or in the other way 360 by theta minus 1 is the number of images what is the meaning of this if the angle between the two plane mirrors is say for example 60 degree then we have to look what is 360 by 60 that is 6 which is an even number so the number of images is answer minus 1 that means it is able to form only five images irrespective of wherever the object is the object placed can divide the angle into two parts theta 1 as well as theta 2 this answer remains the same 360 minus theta even if the mirror is and the object is dividing the angle into two equal parts or unequal parts that means what it may be dividing the angle theta 1 equal to theta 2 even when object is placed symmetrical what do you mean by symmetrical is it is dividing the total angle mirror angle between the mirrors as two identical parts or asymmetrical that means theta is not equally divided in any of the case the number of the images formed is 360 by theta minus 1 if 360 by theta is a even number that's all in one case now there is another case let us see what is that another case is if 360 by theta is an odd number that means you are not going to get a even number but we are going to get a kind of an odd number in that case 
how many number of the images are formed it depends on the where is the position of the object is if object is placed symmetrical what i mean by that it has divided the total angle between the mirrors as two equal parts then the number of images is 360 by theta minus 1 of course when 360 by theta is an odd number another possibility if object has placed asymmetrically what i mean by that is the object has divided the angle between the two mirrors as two different equal parts in that case the number of the images is 360 by theta that means when compared with the previous case it is more than 1 say consider for example the angle between the two mirrors is some 72 degree 360 by 72 is nothing but equal to 5 so there are two possibilities now if object is symmetrical number of images is 5 minus 1 like this if the object is asymmetrical that means theta 1 is different from that of theta that means the angle is here divided as 36 degree and a 36 degree here you have kept an object in such a way that one angle is say 40 degree another angle is 32 degree in that case number of images is 360 by theta itself 5 itself this is the let us see what is that one more possibility is if 360 by theta is a fractional value for example if the angle between the two mirrors is something like 75 degree then 360 by 75 is 4.8 in that case the number of images formed is only the round Number or an integer part or an integral part of that number. We shall not round it off. We have to consider only the the whole part of the number that is available in that right. The integer part of it. That's going to be the number of uh, images. So if it is a fractional value, then we have to consider only the the whole number that is available in it, uh, irrespective of. This is in both the cases when. the object is kept in such a way that that is either symmetrical that means it has divided the angle into two equal parts or asymmetrical in any of the case we have to consider only the round figure that is existing in the fractional value and we shall not round off we have to consider only the the integer part that is there these are the number of the images formed when an object is placed between the two plane mirrors and the plane mirrors are inclined at an angle theta thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you